Hi. Hi. She's Uzi. And he's Ali. And together we are HCT Orlando Keller Williams of the Parks Realty. What are we going to talk about? Um, let's talk about interest rates. Let's talk about interest rates. So, I've heard a lot of people talk about, well, um, how are the interest rates right now? Should we buy? Should we not buy? Should we just wait a little bit, you know, until the frenzy's over? I'm sure you've probably heard um, the, the crazy market out there. People, you know, people are outbidding each other. And, but here's what we have to talk about. Um, if the interest rate fluctuates a little bit, Mm-hmm. The your ability to purchase the, what you can afford to and what you're approved to buy for, and I'm not a, a loan officer, but just in just general math, what if within so what's the statistic? Yeah, on that? you're absolutely right. So affordability and buying power is greatly impacted for anyone that's financing based on what the interest rates are. So okay. just keep Explain the numbers that. really simple. So um, let's say we're buying a three hundred thousand dollar house. Okay, so if you're buying a three hundred thousand dollar house and the interest rates go up a whole percent, one full percent, right? From whatever they are at this point in time when you got pre-qualified to purchase that $300,000 home, it'll impact your buying power by 10% reduction in your buying power. So 300,000, 10% is 30 grand. So if you were looking at a $300,000 home today, 1% increase in interest rate means that you would then be looking at a house you would only qualify for a house then that is worth two hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Right. Wow, that's a huge difference. And it absolutely can make a big difference um, in terms of what somebody's looking to purchase because maybe what you need you can buy in a three hundred thousand dollar house but not find that in a two hundred seventy thousand dollar house. Okay. Um, and then what we will do is and I'll I'll do some some simple math for you too. So what if uh, the home you're purchasing today is ten percent more? Well, then if interest rates go down, you mean? Are you well, no, no, rates? actually, I know what I was talking about is, um, what is that, that home gonna cost you? And, I'll, and I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll do the math for you on the, on the screen, but we'll, I'm gonna do the comparison of a $300,000 house um, that, that you were hoping to purchase. Um, if you purchase it now for 330, that actually will still save you more money than if you if the interest rate go up by one per, by one percent. Oh, I okay. So let's take let's take a very simple example here. So you're you're hoping to buy this house for three hundred thousand dollars, right? It's like, well, let me wait a little bit, right? Well, there's a problem with that because let's just say the price right now is three hundred thirty thousand. Interest rate, we'll just guess right now, is going to be three point two five percent. So the principal interest payment itself is $1,436. So what happens if we wait for the theory that what if the price goes down? You know, the, I've heard people say, there's going to be a big bubble, it's going to crash. and We don't really know that for sure. But we know that interest rates are going to creep up. Well, and also, just to chime in here, um, based on all the economists, um, you know, um, including major banks and so forth, are all predicting that the market is going to continue to be strong for the next couple of years. And while interest rates are sure to definitely start creeping up, they are expecting appreciation and prices of homes to also continue to rise. Maybe not at the current rate, which is almost double digits, but um, close to you know eight and nine percent in some cases, and very conservative estimates are even at six percent. But wow. that's still that's still an increase pro projected for the next you know couple of years. Right. Well, so 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 back to my example. Let's just say this house theoretically you're looking at three thirty. You believe is at three hundred thousand. Well, if the interest rate went up one percent, your payment goes up forty dollars. Which in the course of a year, I mean, I mean forty dollars per month may not seem that much, but that's almost five hundred dollars a year. Now, there's a lot of things I can think of that you could do for five hundred dollars. Rather and, than just paying for no rhyme or So then $480 a, a year um, a year that you're paying off. So remember, it's a 30-year loan. Right. So now you're looking at paying an extra $15,000 sure. over a 1% interest rate. Yeah, doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. And that's assuming, though, that the, the price actually went down. 
And as we stated, that's not what's going to happen. So not only will interest rates potentially go up to impact your ability, your, your purchasing power, but also the, that particular property is sure to also increase in value. Right, exactly. And that's a whole different math. <laughs> so, but I just wanted to give you the very ba basic, simple math on what happens if an interest rate goes up to your uh, payment cost and affordability. With that, um, if you're not currently a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button um, yes, so that we you. can share with you more exciting real estate news here in the Central Florida, Orlando area. Mm -hmm. And um, if you're on social media, look up hashtag H2Team Orlando to like, follow, subscribe, and all those wonderful things. Great. Well, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope we hope you, you understood something from this, and we hope to be able to help you. And let's make you happy.